no. So up until, again, we've made strides. So up until a few years ago, the answer was we can only look at autopsy. We can only look after you die. And even now, um, you know, the diagnosis that people will get is probable Alzheimer's or, or likely Alzheimer's. It'll be dementia, probable Alzheimer's. Um, but in the next few years, you're going to see, I hope, um, this uh, scan come on. It's actually a PET scan. So it's not an MRI, but it's a PET scan. So they inject, um, has anyone had a PET scan? Just put your hand up. So you have an IV injection of um, something that has very weak radioactivity. Yep, yep. <laughs> and. They do, they do. You're not glowing though. I think that's important. You don't glow. <laughs> um, <laughs> in the best way, yeah. Um, so you get, a, you get an IV injection of this, uh, what we call a radio ligand. And they've made one that will detect the plaques in the brain. Um, so you get that, it goes to the brain, and it binds to the plaques. And so when you go in the scanner, you can see who has plaques and who doesn't. Um, that is, it's been around for about 10 years um, in research. Now it is still considered for research, um, but we're using it in almost every clinical trial that we do especially if that trial is on a drug that's supposed to target the plaques. And we do now have drugs that are trying to target the plaques. Um, if you're going to do that, you need to make sure at least your patients have the plaques to start with. Otherwise, that drug's not going to do anything. And that brings me to why a lot of our drugs failed. <laughs> um, that 50 to 60 percent of dementia patients having Alzheimer's. Well, before we could detect plaques in the brain, we were putting people in trials who may or may not have had Alzheimer's disease. So if you think we had a trial of 2,000 people, as many as 1,000 of those may not have had Alzheimer's to start with. And now we're giving them a drug that is supposed to target the, the Alzheimer's. Well, of course they didn't get better, right? Um, so at least now we have this ligand and it's been in the last few, sorry, it's been in the last few trials that have been done. We use it quite a lot in the clinic because uh, when we're bringing people into trials, um, we, we have to do that. There's a study that's being performed by the Alzheimer's Association to find out whether Having one of these scans upon diagnosis with dementia will actually change the quality of care you receive from your physician. Because one of the arguments is, why should we pay for people to have this scan? It's about $3,000 to have the scan. So if you think about you know, Medicare covering it, three, they, they want to know that it's worth their money, right? So. Um, does, does knowing your status change how that physician treats you as a patient? Um, and if, that, if the outcome of that study is that you get better care because of having the scan, then you'll start to see it come clinically available and people will get a diagnosis. That's a great question. So. Um, Possibly yes. Um, I think from a patient perspective, maybe you, maybe the patient becomes more proactive about their care as well. Um, I think what's going to happen, I think, is a lot of these areas of study that we have going on, because they're not running in series. It's not like we're wait, we're not waiting to get that approved before we start doing a trial. <laughs> we're, we're doing the trials while we wait for this to get approved. And we're not waiting for those blood signatures to come out before we do a trial. We're running everything in parallel. And so I think what you're going to see is everything's going to converge on, well, now we have a drug and we have a scan. So you know everybody get to your doctors, because you know there's actually something we can do now. Um, I think having the diagnosis from a patient perspective really helps with planning. Um, you know, if it's if you have dementia and it's of the Alzheimer's type, you know, 
knowing the the course and what's to come is important um, and it's important for financial planning you know life planning where are you going to live what advanced directives do you want to get in place um, all of those things so um, so I think part of it is the physician takes it seriously because it's not just old age and there's still our physicians out there, <laughs> I know, um, who are like, you're just getting old. And, and they're very dismissive. Um, and so I think, um, I think having an absolute diagnosis that yes, there's, there's a disease associated with this probably helps, especially family physicians who uh, may not be so well versed in all of this you know, biology. Um, it will help them understand and, and treat their patients.